quite essential move is the head bang. Um, my favorite thing is to try to grow my hair as long as possible so that you have the most impact with a good head bang. Um, definitely makes an impact the more hair you have. Head banging is a very important um, part of things. Uh, it's just kind of like the essential heavy metal movement. For me, like I have long hair as do a lot of those that play metal music. So uh, hair flipping and doing a lot of movements with my hair to go with the head banging is kind of like my main thing. And head banging feels natural. And it's super fun when you've got a lot of hair to, you know, it makes for nice photos as well. There's something really primitive that calls for that movement. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. It feels very natural to flip your hair to this kind of genre. You know, you usually have long hair, <laughs> so you just, <laughs> you just gotta flip it around, you know, and it's just an easy way of expression. Yeah, easiest way to express yourself. If I um, did it have been for a while, even if it's month, I feel it immediately the first time I'm doing it again. This tour, like, we play, didn't play for a few months, so I really felt it. And on the first day, I usually get sore um, because I am not headbanging when I'm off tour. More people don't realize the massive amounts of neck pain that comes with it. <laughs> headbanging is, of course, really bad for your neck. It's a, it's a weird movement. To headbang, you kind of need to use your entire body. Like it just seems like it's just upper body and you know maybe your head, but um, it actually takes like your whole body. With headbanging. There's, you can do it wrong, where you rely all on your neck, or you do it with your full body. So I've learned to do it with my full body, and I enjoy it. I love it. It looks cool, but as you get older, it's just <laughs> you really start to feel it <laughs> the day after. Now I do. I've like found ways to like move my hair without actually whipping my neck so hard. So it's still head banging, but it's safer. Uh, actually, Heidi from Butcher Babies told me of this phrase that I now use all the time, which is a bang over. And that's when your neck is so sore that you can totally feel it the next day. Yeah, I really had to get used to it. I remember the first time head banging at a concert. I woke up and I couldn't move my head. Do neck stretches, yes, <laughs> literally. Always stretch before, otherwise you're gonna wake up the next day just not being able to drive or look over your shoulder for your blind spot. We have two products that we use that are uh, like necessary in the bus. One is called Deep Heat, one is called Deep Freeze, and each of those have a different sensation, whether you're hot or cold, that you can put on your muscle legs to kind of soothe it, but it definitely is a problem on the road. I always think it looks funny when I watch videos. Back. It looks ridiculous, but you know, it's a part of it. It's just very sincere, it's very um, just genuine and just whatever I feel, I mean headbanging is definitely a part of it because, I don't know, it's just, it's almost like you want to break the ground with your face. It's not like anything choreographed. And that power to try to put that much energy into a movement I think really represents uh, what metal is all about and how you know strong and powerful metal is. It just obviously humans feel like headbanging to this kind of stuff and I really wish everyone would try it because it feels really liberating.